Hey, All-Stars, Pastor Mike here, and it's so good to be back with you this week. Well, we've been talking about ways to elevate our leadership to that next level, the leadership growth. And we've been talking about topics such as having a vision, embracing change, being a team versus being a group, focus, what it means to be a servant leader, and so many other things that we've been discussing to implement into our leadership to take it to that next level. Well, today we're going to be talking about planning. Yes, that dreaded word, planning. And I know, Will, you're cringing right now because you mentioned Sunday that you didn't like planning, right? That you and Tonya were complete opposites in planning. Well, planning is important. And the question is, is why do we need a plan? Well, I think I have a pretty simple uh, answer to that question, and it's this. Because without an intentional plan, although your ministry might start out of the gate really strong, it might start off on fire, without a plan long term, all of a sudden, you start to lose focus. You start to lose team alignment. You start to lose group accountability. And when we lose those components of our ministry, all of a sudden, our ministry begins to flounder. And when our ministry flounders, we start realizing that, oh man, we're not going to reach our objectives. We're not going to reach and, and achieve our goals that we set out to accomplish because we don't have a plan. And the vision now can't be carried out because I don't have a plan in place. And when we fly by the seat of our pants, those are the things that happen to our ministry. And that's one of the reasons why I love when we get together for our team huddles. When we get together in our team huddles and, and there's this positive peer pressure, and, and that's a good thing. You're together as leaders, uh, together as a team, as peers, and all of a sudden now we're, pro we're, we're producing dialogue. We're producing progress. Th this environment is producing uh, new ideas, and when those things are produced, it's kind of like weightlifting. All of a sudden, we're being stretched in ways that we didn't realize that we could be stretched. You know, it's like it's like when you when you're at the gym and you're you're lifting weights and your muscles are getting stretched and then they begin to regenerate. And when they regenerate, they get bigger and stronger because there's growth. Well, it's just like you as a leader. When you're stretched in an environment of planning and ideas and progress and dialogue, all of a sudden now God regenerates you in that area that you're being stretched and he produces growth in it. And that is really, really awesome. And that's a way that, hey, we're planning. I have a plan. I'm going to implement this plan of the vision. It's going to help me take my leadership to that next level. So I have a couple of questions for you. One is this. How many of you would get on a plane from here to anywhere knowing that the pilot doesn't have a flight plan? I would. That's for sure. Flying is scary enough when everything lines up just right, right? I wouldn't get on a plane knowing that there's no flight plan. Or how many of you would hire a contractor knowing that he doesn't have a blueprint to build your house? I wouldn't because you would never know what your house looked like. Well, actually, you would know what it looked like. There's no plan. So how many people would want to be a part of your ministry if you didn't have a plan? Wow, that's a really good question. See, because if you're trying to recruit people into a ministry and you don't have a plan for that ministry, there aren't going to be a lot of people that are going to put up with flying by the seat of your pants, so to speak, um, for that ministry. That is not a healthy way to operate. And you really, there isn't a lot of growth in that in leadership. But having a plan is really, really important. And it's, it's kind of like, the, the, the human side and the divine side here, if you will, the excellence in planning is stewardship. That's my side. God has called us to, to be good stewards. So if God has given you a vision for your ministry, well, the stewardship side of things says, okay, I have to have a plan now. Here's the vision. I have to have a plan in place to help me carry out the vision. That's stewardship. The divine side is where God anoints the plan when you have bathed it in prayer and sought his will, then the anointing comes. That's the divine side. And Mark Batterson says it the best, I believe. He says that you work as if it depends on you and you pray as if it depends on God. That's the stewardship slash divine side of planning. Work hard, plan it right, 
with excellence and let God be God and anoint his work. It's almost, it's like, it's like this. It's like without a plan, it's like a farmer planting and asking for, or farmer asking for rain for the field, but not yet planting the seed. And Proverbs uh, 12, 11, I think says it the best. It says, if you don't till the land, you will be just chasing fantasies. But if you work the land, you will have plenty of bread. In other words, there's no sense in asking God to send the rain for the field if you have not yet bought the seed, let alone plant the seed. And so what I'm doing is, is I have a one page planning sheet that I'm going to send you. And there's just, it's, there's five components to it. The vision, what are we building? The mission, why are we building it? The objectives, what will we measure? The strategies, how will we cooperate with God as he builds his church and then the plans? What work will it require? Because make no mistake, you can't have the vision and expect there to be no work, right? That's the plan. So what work is it going to require? Because listen, if you don't like what you're getting, if you don't like the results that you're getting, you have to change what you're doing. You have to change it. You got to plan. You got to have something in place that says, here's my vision, this is the plan, this is how we're going to carry it out, and it's going to be excellent, okay? Planning, it will definitely help you take your leadership to the next level. Well, that's all I have for you this week. I look forward to being with you next week as we discuss another topic that will help you take your leadership to the next level. Peace out.